Hey guys, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. I've got to say, I woke up today with a really, really big urge to continue playing this game. As most of you told me, it does start off a little slow, but right now we're on the third episode, about three hours in, and halfway through the last episode is when things really started getting interesting. So right now we're playing with one of the detectives, and I'm really glad that I've been reading the comments because one of you guys told me to go into my thoughts, which is something that I completely forgot to do on the last episode, which is a way of not only learning about what's going on, but learning more about the characters, specifically knowing that now we're gonna get different characters that it's not just the father of, of, of the lost boy, right? We've got like four, different characters that we can play as at least so far so we're going to start off this episode with some of our personal thoughts so we're going to start off with air it's stifling in here those windows haven't been opened in years hmm interesting all the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex the guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment you don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Interesting. So now we're obviously, I think it was two suspects that we had and uh, we're trying to just investigate, see if we can get more, more info. This guy's got like a bunch of crosses and Jesus pieces all over the walls. Don't really know what that means yet. Obviously he is some sort of religious being. He's into Candles religion. Still lit. He should be back soon. But I don't know if uh, he's religious in a good way or a bad way, because we already know when we get a lot of religious shit in games, it typically tends to be bad, like horror games per se. Horror games are terrifying, and they're full of religion. Okay, and they're not necessarily good. So, religion in this case, it's not necessarily good. These dudes are just full-blown crazy so i think the the origami killer um puts his victims to drown obviously as we found out last time uh with water so he like kind of sticks them in a sewer and then once the rain catches up the water goes all the way up and then i think this is actually the exit and then eventually they drown so it's about six inches of rain. And right now we're at about one point something inches of rain. So we've got approximately four or five more days. Uh -oh. So this is where he lays. Okay. This is creepy, dude. This, this, this is fucking creepy. I think on the last episode, we also had our first case of uh, <laughs> jump scare. When we were playing as that chick and we got jump scared and we we're getting robbed and mauled and fucking gang banged and it was crazy thankfully we survived we managed to escape um i don't think our boy here has any more oh whoa whoa what the fuck yeah that's my partner he scared me man i thought I was some intruder in here trying to kill me so you open that door for me to go inside how convenient for you huh so if i die in here you stay alive You know, one of you guys told me that the father, every time he blacks out, it feels like he's probably the killer or the kid or the origami killer. I thought about that too. You know, I don't know how, I don't want to believe that. I want to say that's probably just the game messing with our minds. But it's just kind of strange. What if he lost his child and he decided to take over the origami killer's fucking job? I don't know. But I don't think so because the origami killer was out before he was, you know, bef before any of that happened, before his first child, before Jason was gone. So you never know. Okay, hold on. So we came through here. Oh, you got anything else, man? I mean, I don't know what the fuck to do. I think we've checked just about everything, partner. How about the, the dishes. Disgusting, man. This kid, what the fuck is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anything in the fridge? More pills. Dude, there's a lot of pills here. What's going on here? Oh!
Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naman Jade in FBI. Guilty. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Hmm. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Okay, you were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say Blake, to you, Nathaniel? what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. He's probably talking about the origami killer, was it possibly? No. Being his, like mentor or whatever. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. For Satan. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. I don't want to intervene. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Okay, yo, relax, dude. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son oh. of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake. Shoot! You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun Shut out up, of my dumbass! Face. Psychology. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team. Don't shoot him. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel, to get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil, protect us from the cunning and wise. Yo, I can't even think right now. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire, and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Oh my God, he's gonna fucking shoot him. I. No! What the fuck? I don't want to shoot him! Yep. Looks like you did. RB didn't say shoot! Can't what the him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Dude, what the freaking heck, man? Since when is the right button a shooting button? What? I thought that was like something... Okay, we're off to a really rough patch right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, the guy was nuts. But we could have still gotten some info. Maybe. I'm so upset right now. What the hell? Jesus Christ, man. I'm pissed off. Oh, fuck. Well, I will say, I do like playing as this guy. This guy has the best stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Man, I promise I don't even mean to do that. Hopefully, that doesn't hinder the story too much. I wanted to kill as least people as possible. Hold on. I kind of wish there was a sprinting button here as well. 
Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows mm. something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, asthma free for the moment, lover. Good old and hold on, let me pocket, just in case. Let me check this out real quick. Hey, you guys were right. Um, the uh, the thoughts really make a big difference. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I go around the house. Make sure nothing is missing. Oh. There's a baby there. Um. Okay, ring the doorbell. Knock on the door. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Uh, don't break the door. We can always use the back door. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not a good start. I see now why they call the game Heavy Rain. <laughs> it's raining the entire fucking game. I'm still upset at that other freaking. Oh man, I just wanted to calm him down and. This is not a good look right here. There's a there's a literal baby crying alive and well. And what is this? Mrs. Bowles. Anybody home? This is a. Weird fucking situation, bro. Let me see. What does this say? Oh, Jesus. It's too. Can't stand that anymore. Wow. Are you kidding me? Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama? Dude, what the hell, man? That's so sad, bro. Fucking A. Can this game just keep getting more depressing? Is it literally possible? Like, is it literally possible for a game to be this fucking depressing? Okay, this is where we came from. Or is that the master bedroom? That might actually be the master bedroom. There's nobody, there's nothing here. Somebody was sleeping on the floor. That's worth noting. Okay. Mrs. This Bowles. Door? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh, dude, she's probably dead. Drug overdose. Flat out killed herself. Oh, shit. She's alive. She's alive. What are you doing? What the fuck are Mrs. you doing? Balls, can you hear me? No, no. Wake up. Ooh, ooh, no. Wake up. What are you doing, lady? You have a fucking child. Dude, I can't take this for any much longer, dude. Like everything in the, about this game, bro. This is just fucking flat out sad. And everything has to do with fucking children. God, God damn it. I'm going to call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. Oh, so you I got something around here I can dress this one with. Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, where, where is that? Bathroom, right? I, I suppose. Let's see. I need this. I need this. gauze. Or is alcohol? This guy has one of the best missions always. Quick, like she's losing blood. I gotta hurry. Okay. Oh, 
I need more. Still bleeding. Fuck, fuck. Dude, this is wild, bro. This is fucking wild. This game is wild. Not perfect. Uh, all right. Stay. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. Come on. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. My baby. My baby needs me. Uh, yeah, right. he does. She does. You but... stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Yeah, you wanted to end your life and leave the baby there crying and left a shitty, do? pathetic note. With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I was Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Okay, so it's a girl. Mommy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Oh, we gotta wash our hands. Of course, we had blood on our hands. We can't take care of a baby with dirty fucking blood. I wanted to see in the bathtub. See how crazy that looked. A lot of you uh, are surprised that this looks and feels a lot like Detroit Become Human, but it, I think it's from the same makers. So that's why it's so fucking good. Hi there, Emily. Aww. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Oh, sure, we're about to change some dirty ass. Done this a lot of my time. Just saying. Not very fun. Okay. How do you do this again? Oh. Didn't even wipe her. There you okay. go, fresh new baby. Good. That should feel better. The, mo the mother was gonna kill herself and left her baby full of shit. That would not have been a pretty sight. Hey, what's the matter? Probably hungry. I thought we solved the problem. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. I'm gonna bet you that it's because she's hungry. Susan, uh, I changed the diaper, but she's still crying. She's hungry. There's a bottle in in the kitchen. Gotcha. I'm a father. I know these things, man. Okay. I know these things. Babies only do three things: eat, sleep, and shit. Okay. And then repeat. So. Kitchen. The kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Is that the kitchen there? There we go. Fresh milk, huh? I guess I better warm this thing up. Ah. This is cool, dude. <laughs> Look at us being a fucking dad and shit. That was quick. Sheesh. That's a really big bottle for such a little baby. <laughs> oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. Oh. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna hold it for her, so that's fine. I thought he was uh, gonna give it to her and, and I let, let her drink it herself. The bottle's bigger than her. <laughs> That was a hungry baby. Mm. 
Oh, I'm gonna burp him. Start burping on us. Oh, so cute. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Very gently. <laughs> this is cool, dude. We're down. I can promise you babies don't fall asleep that fast. At least mine didn't, so. I like this game, man. This is cool. I like this is possibly one of my favorite characters too. this guy. I like the main character, too, but I feel like he's so irresponsible that I remotely kind of hate him. Because he's so irresponsible. What is this? Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. But you did. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good hmm. boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um... It's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Interesting. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself and Emily. I will. I promise. That's so sad. Okay, so. In the drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Okay, drawer in the living room. Honestly, I would also bring the baby into the room. I wouldn't leave the baby in. I wouldn't leave the baby here, dude. I feel like. I mean, this living room is so open. Somebody could just come and fucking snatch the kid. I wonder if this has anything to do with the origami killer. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mother. Aww. This guy's got one of the most interesting stories, missions in the entire game. Every, everything that we've done with this detective has been really good.
Wednesday. 1.9 inches already. Holy smokes. There we are. Things are about to start ramping up. Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted, but at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. The That's parking right, lot we'll ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? You know, let me speak to this guy first. Maybe actually, I don't know if I should go in here or any of these rooms beforehand. Might get in trouble. Or maybe I can't even do that at all. So let's speak to the mechanic here first. See what he's got to say. Or oh, dropped his fan on his ass. Excuse me? Hey. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Oh, you see here, Roy. I've like got a ticket. My car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We well, took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here. What? It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. What Thanks. the hell? Uh, two you have years? A good one, Chief. Have I been here before? I don't remember it. A car? Why am I being sent to look for a car? Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? You guys ever seen Impractical Jokers? Those just one episode. Those guy in the mall, not the mall, the shopping center. They were pranking people. Those the guy. What does that mean? What does that? I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but if you have, you know, and it was fucking hilarious. Anyways. I guess we came here to look for a car. See, that's the thing. He doesn't even know if he was here before. He doesn't know if he left the car. He doesn't know anything when he blacks out. So it's like one of those things that kind of keeps you a little bit on your toes, wondering if he's actually, you know, a, sus a suspect or not. I, I don't know. It's intriguing. I don't think he is, though. But he might just be. It wouldn't be the first time that I'm wrong, honestly. Not at all. Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for? Oh. Interesting. That looks like a very nice car. We're being here for two years. Pretty well maintained, let me tell you. Let's see if there's anything on this side that I might not want to miss. Nope. This all seems a little bit too weird. Get the seatbelt going. Or not. What the fuck is that? GPS? How do you know there was a GPS there? Like a subconscious just fucking knows stuff. Huh. I need a key for that. Your destination is four miles from here. What Leave the, the parking lot and take the first right. Wow, this is creepy. You got a fast car too, huh? <laughs> Never mind. It's just. Just the four-door sedan. Okay. 
thought it was gonna be like a coupe or something. Take a left at the next This is creepy, man. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I'm slightly confused. <sighs> Very intrigued. I don't I don't I don't know how this is gonna end. I don't even know who to trust anymore, honestly. What the fuck is happening? You have reached your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? <laughs> Listen what? carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. Now. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Okay. This is literally I insane. Do I'd do anything to save my son. Fuck it, here we go, baby. Full throttle, full speed ahead. Except I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. Dude, I am fucking shaking him up. And I don't even got the Shut up, bitch. This should be illegal. This is illegal, actually. Oh my god, dude, I'm so nervous. Oh, come on. Oh. I thought I pressed the wrong one. The guy was so clueless. Shut up, left B. Left button. Press the screen. Your reward is in the glove compartment. Oh, come on. It's inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. Yo, this is so intense. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is crazy. Bro, just you should have just smashed that shit. You wouldn't have to go through all of this bull crap. Perfect. 
Oh boys, things are starting to pick up now. <laughs> oh shit. We're on the run now. Same phone as a detective, I think. It's very similar, at least. That footage could be old as hell. That's the funny thing about that. He's fucking suffering, dude. All right, well, this is crazy. At least we didn't get caught, because then we would have gotten caught, would have been hit and run, and then fucking go to prison, and go to jail. It, it just would have been a whole fat mess. But now we're playing with this chick again, which last time it was really, really interesting. I'm definitely going to look into my thoughts to learn a little bit more about her and see who she is and what she's all about. Because last time, since we forgot, we didn't really have a... It was just very random. It felt very random. Two inches of rainfall right now. Okay, so she's a badass. Ain't nobody tell me this. What is she? Some sort of trained professional assassin? I'm worn out. I gotta sleep. The reception. Oh, so let's hope they've got a room left. But we're here now. I oh, just like fuck my house. I almost died there. <laughs> The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. Yesterday, a recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the origami killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive, as the previous victims were all killed during the five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. That's so professional. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Yeah. I would look the other way and look for something else. I don't feel too comfortable with this cow chewing. Madison fucking Page, 27. Madison Page. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Hmm. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. <laughs> what a creep, dude. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Okay. What's that creepy, weird lady doing there, huh? All suspicious. Okay, apparently I can't go on top. Okay. What is that lady doing, bro? You're freaking me out. What do you want to do? Come up the stairs. I dare you. I'm going to smack you. Room 201. Stairs on the right. Last floor. Last floor. Yeah. Thank God about these memories make these thoughts jesus can't believe i didn't use that last episode i'm an idiot <gasps> what the fuck is that yo i'm so suspicious right now i'm sus as hell everybody that i see walking on oh she's got that walk bro 
sir. Are you all right? Oh, so this is how they meet. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. So do they, like, start dating or something? I know this is definitely not the right time for this, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. Just saying. Those jeans look a little weird on her, though. <laughs> You got the key? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. She's very caregiving. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. I'll help him first and ask questions later. Okay, so let's help him first. Oh, this is the same room we were in. Yeah, this is his room. He came back to his room. Okay. This went from depression, depression simulator to fucking doctor simulator. I should disinfect his cuts. <laughs> of course. Should have grabbed the other stuff too while you were at it, honestly. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? Damn, was that too fast? Stop being such a wimp. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Damn, that's all it took? Alright, hold on. What else we got here? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Here you go, sir. Here. Take this. I like how they're connecting the characters now. It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. Right. Wanna come with? Let me help you. Oh, she gonna help? Oh. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> well, that's awfully generous. That would never happen. Oh, is she peeking through? Oh, damn. <laughs> Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Uh, yeah. No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. 
And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures oh. of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. About the pills. I don't Thanks want Spam taking any more pills. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. No, stay. Come on, what are you doing? Stay. He doesn't care way, about that. He you never tell me your son. name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. We're gonna pop more pills? No. All right. That's right. We hit this under here. Oh, thank God. If we would have hit, if we would have left that there. Oof. She would have probably spotted it. Although I don't think that would have been a bad thing, but. Origami number two now, right? Another freaking riddle. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Your old power plant. What? The old I can't man, I need to learn how to read faster than this. Jesus, or just slow it down there, partner. I'm trying to read it all dramatic and drastic. But it's not good enough. Don't, don't, don't leave that box there, Ethan. She's gonna come and see it. Don't leave the box there. I like Madison though, so I think we'll be okay if she finds out the box there. Wednesday, 4:26 p.m. 2.074. Dude, that doesn't even look like 4:20 p.m., bro. What? This is crazy. Was that the first time? Sorry. First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. That's him. Next boy, the next one in line. Hey, isn't this You're the same guy that what? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Looks like the same guy from the. Oh. Oh. Shit! Don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Hey, you fucking burned him with hot coffee. What do you want hey, him to man, do? Oh, this game is lit, bro. Game is lit, boys. Hey, 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 relax! Okay. Move away, ladies. Sex detective coming through. Hey, watch it, man! Hey, watch it! Okay. Oh, so Jesus oh. Christ! This is too much! I wish they would have done this in color. Would have been easier to spot like off the corner of your eye or something, you know? Hey man, watch it. I should have put that I've never played games before in the Stop options. It asks you. And I put that I, pre I play games frequently, so that's why it's giving me all these options. Like so fast. But yes, I am playing Heavy Rain on hardcore mode. Okay, oh, oh shit. Look at this little scumbag. Yo, what? <laughs> He's talking chickens at me. <laughs> it's 
might be the second time we kill somebody. Just saying, I'm already used to it. Fuck this guy. Don't shoot your ass. Don't even fuck around with me. I got a gap. Got my Glock. This is probably not a Glock. I got my strap. I got my piece. What else? Whatever. I've, I've run out of words. Terminology 101, ladies and gentlemen. Leave it in the comments below. Here we go. Let's beat this man's up. Oh, fuck me. Oh. I think he's slick, Rick, huh? Don't fuck it. Listen, bro, I just came from a murder scene. You don't fuck with me, all right? You understand? My adrenaline is through the roof right now. Oh, the detective got the move. Bro, he saw that kick. He kicked the pipe. Oh, damn. I didn't do it fast enough. I gotta stay focused here, guys. Okay, I gotta focus. I'm gonna have to go fucking Super Saiyan God on this button. Oh, he's kind of beat up already. Oh, my God. See, if you weren't guilty, you probably wouldn't have ran away and did what you did to me. But now, now you don't fuck up. This time, it looks like we got our origami killer. I don't think it's him. It's not gonna be him. The origami killer is much smarter than that. You, you just, just tell. That guy's just a brute. And now we're playing with this detective, and things get really interesting with him. So, uh, yeah. Same day, a couple of hours later. 2.244 inches. Oh. Mm. Somebody's drunk. <sighs> Yawning is contagious. I'm sorry. Got my badge. Yep. everything asthma do we need it yeah we do okay all the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars the kid who disappeared more alcohol what oh man don't do that to yourself detective yeah you, you gotta be ahead now let's put that down sir let's put that shit down that's not healthy, especially you. You got asthma. You can't be smoking or drinking or any of that shit. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. Okay. Is that the bottle still there? I guess let's just get it. If not, we're gonna we're gonna keep that option there. I mean, is it? Let's let's just take a fucking sip. Fuck that. Get drunk like a fucking asshole. That's right. Just let it all go, baby. You've been working hard. If you've got asthma. You might die, but it's okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's open up this folder and see what we got here. Right. Okay, this is our office then. Vine Street Expressway. Okay, see what else we can interact with here. Oh, look at this. Certificates, achievements. But I feel like something's gonna happen here. Well, oh, this is my house. Wait, is this my house? My 
Yeah, this is my house. I like how the fridge says a fridge. More? Bro, you should have gotten a fucking sandwich or something. Feed yourself, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're going to die on us. Look, you got cheeseburger, frozen, disgusting cheeseburger. You got some nuggets. <laughs> Wait, really? What was, what was the point of that? Did I miss something? Ooh. The origami killer strikes again. There, done. Read it. Because I'm that fast. I got tele... Te what is it? Photographic memory. By the way, for those of you that have photographic memory, you've been blessed. You have no idea how much you've been blessed. Uh, I say we maybe go out or go into our room. Never mind. What do we got here? Some underwear. Is that him? He was younger, possibly. I mean, I don't suspect anything to happen in this guy's house. You know, it's like... I don't see why anything would happen here. Sit down. <sighs> Relax. And then get back up. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Morning, bro. Get down. a big guy man he barely fits in that bathroom all right we're gonna go here and i see who's ringing in my doorbell you said i could contact you if i remembered anything can i come in really what sure. up girl Please, take a seat. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder yeah, me wants. neither. Um, so do I sit down with her? What, what the hell? Do you want a drink, girl? I mean, loosen up the mood, you know, maybe you spill the beans a little more. And some. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside him, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, oh, but I kept the envelope. Uh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for Wait, your help. No, pick up the letter again. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Firm, diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Pointless, alone, dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're I love really it when they play hard again. 
I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid old hmm. Oh what? shit, what? Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? <laughs> we'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna what be the here fuck? Long? I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? What up, girl? Okay. Okay, I'm out. Let me know if you need nice me. chatting with you. I feel like Lauren is gonna get herself into some shit. Where is she, anyways? I don't even know where she's at at the moment. Oh, well, she's right there. Music. Music's a little loud, isn't it? Hi, I'm Scott. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party out. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Nah. I don't know uh, why they have that goddamn music so loud. I can't hear myself thinking. Yet. Okay. Oh, Gordy. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Where the hell is Gordy Kramer? Could it be outside? I don't think so. It's raining, but... Hey, we can always check. That's a nice fucking pool, dude. Holy smokes.
Okay. Gotta find Gordy Crane. There we go. There we go. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Craig. There we fucking go. Perfect. Good, this is great. This is fucking great. And we can be the whole party. The guards are going back. Okay, Lauren is still there. I want to say it's probably in through here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yo, this dude is living life, bro. The fuck? <laughs> Look at those chairs, like those dog chairs. This is dope. <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Bro, these graphics look good. For it being from 2010, this is pretty impressive. This is very, very impressive. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. <laughs> no. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. Nah. I do that him. because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. He's being it's sarcastic. a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Well, I guess it's time to bust some fucking heads. <laughs> Did I just fucking headbutt his fist? What the frick was that? Oh, you don't. You must not know me. 
I'm just a gangster. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah, now I'm starting to get used to the button smashing stuff. Dude, we're getting better at this. We're getting better at this. About to beat all their asses. You're going to give me some fucking answers. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. I think he was being sarcastic about being the origami killer. 742. 2.278 inches. All right, so we have officially arrived at a new location somewhere that has led us to another clue to hopefully getting closer to finding our sunshine. I think we're gonna end it here. This game is so good. Like it's getting so freaking good. And a lot of you have been recommending Beyond Two Souls as well after we finish this one because it's pretty much from the same developers, very similar to this. So we'll see how this goes. If you guys want more Heavy Rain videos, drop it a like. The better they do, the more I'll pump them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.